Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the New York Yankees. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaum. And now, Singing a guy yo, who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Giancarlo Stanton. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. First pitch moments away, and our pitcher in this game, Jamison Tyon. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. All in one now. Now the inside corner for a strike. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Next offering is foul back. And the 2 The punch out there. Now one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Donovan Solano. Line drive, and there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. And the batter now is Joey Votto. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The next offering misses, and that's ball one. Solano, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. The foul ball there. Yeah, the righty deals. Not close with that one, and it's two and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two down. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled and this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Here's Mike Moustakis to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering misses, and it's 2 0. 2 0 count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Next offering way off the plate. The right hander gives up the two out walk. 
Bell just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So to a board and two out scoreless game. Tyler Naquin to the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. The 1 0. Nope. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Left hand hitter waits. Good eye right there. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. First and second, two down. That one down the line sneaks through base hit Solano coming home he scores and they have the lead one nothing showed some really nice patience in that at bat worked himself into a good count just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline that's really excellent back control and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots that was just nice so digging in Jonathan India and Boog, I'd say he's due. That one's in there, 0 and 1. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Line drive, and that's base hit out of the center field. Throw in holds the lead runner at third, so it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dump that. And the throw to first is there to put an end to the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And the home team down a run. Back for more from the Bronx. Today's starting pitcher, Justin Dunn. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss, get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. And a foul ball. And he'll one. Next offering misses down and away for Judge. He's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness in a strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. Next offering is down low. Righty delivers. Got him looking. And there's one away. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. First pitch, not close. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Oh, well, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that one fouled off. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two up, two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. 
Next offering is in for a strike. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. One, two, three, go the Yankees. They trail here, one nothing. Back in the Bronx, Cal Farmer up to the plate now. A line to kick the pitch. And there's the strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. The pitch. Strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The wind of the pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, that one might sting for a bit, but it helps the team and it boosts the OBP boot. Sometimes that trade off is worth it, but well, sometimes it's not. Now it's Nick Senzel. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next pitch has popped up. Torres drifts towards it. And there's one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Fan batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And the pitch. And now it's even up. Dave Lawrence is signed to work home plate in this one. Good umpire, Boog. Very fair, very consistent. Now, I did hear some feedback that he opens up the outside corner a little bit on left-handed hitters, which, you know, for me, I'd be kind of salty. So maybe something to keep an eye on and see if that factors into this one at all. And that's going to get into the corner. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scored position and just one out. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Donovan Solano, the next to hit for the Reds. His righty lefty splits there. First offering misses the mark. Second and third here, one away. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. On the ground, right side. Torres over to first. Run scores, and that makes it 2 nothing as they get the out. Next for Cincinnati, Joey Votto. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And there's a foul ball. <laughs> Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. And here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. Next pitch outside, misses outside. outside. Two and two. To the right side. That's a base hit as a run scores. 
Well done. Drives in the run. This one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Two outs, runner at first. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mike Moustakis. That one fouled off. Here's your one. Now one and one. In there. And so now one and two. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Two outs. Stays alive. Votto leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch misses inside, and it's two and two. Right hander kicks deals, and it's fouled away. Two two down. He swings and fouls one off. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. Down to the bottom of the second. It's the Reds three and the Yankees nothing. Back in the Bronx, John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And the 1 0. And another ball. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force. And I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Got him on the off-balance throw. And they take care of Stanton for the out. DJ LeMahieu, the next to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Rolled over to third. Over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Here is the young phenom, Glaber Torres. Next pitch downstairs, and it's 1 0. Looking at Torres, have to say he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. The 1 1. And a swing and a miss. When you think about it, he may be in the league for the next 10 or 15 years. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. So the Yanks go in order. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium, new inning getting started. Now it's going to be Tyler Naquin. And a pitch. That's in for a strike. 
Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Next one is off the plate. One and two to count. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Here's a one two. And fouled off. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two two now. Popped up left side. Donaldson settles underneath it, makes the grab one away. The batter on the ship, second baseman, Jonathan India. Jonathan India at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Now one missed. One down, base is empty. In the air, right field. Stan gliding to his left. Flashes the leather on the running catch. That's out number two. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Tyler Stevenson. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. That hits the dirt. Ball one. The pitch. Good eye right there. Foul ball makes the count two and one. Swing and a miss. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. In the air, right field, Stanton sizing this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. Reds down in order, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Ball one, no strike. And a pitch. That's ball two. Two balls, no strike. Swings and misses. That's strike one. One strike. And the right-hander deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. 
Jose Peraza at the plate. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Good eye right there. And the righty deals. Late with the swing there. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. You clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. And he deals. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. An absolute blast to left. His second of the year. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 3-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. One down. And up next for New York, Kyle Higashioka. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Now the 01. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And a pitch. Yeah. There's a strike. Now one and two. And that one in the air center field. Sentel brings it in. And there's two away. The center fielder, Aaron Judge. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. In there for strike one. That misses the zone, and the count is one and one. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle, and with two outs, one swing, puts you right back in this ballgame. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. I'll tell you this. That's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. Next one misses. And the count's even at two. Next offering is fouled back. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Back here in New York, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Kyle Farmer. And the right-hander back to work. And there's the ball. The wind of the pitch. Pulls that one to foul. Kicks and deals. Nope, inside, ball two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. 
Next offering clips the zone count even at two. A wide to kick the pitch. Fought off foul. And the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Donaldson tosses the first in time. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Nick Senzel. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Tommy Pham stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Rips one to right, and he pulls up on it. And that's a hit. The bat, the designated hitter, Donovan. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And at first, Donovan Solano. The next to hit for the Reds. Tyon with the move to first. Bam, back to first safely. Another throw over. And he's back again. In there, and it's 0-1. Fam, the runner at first with two gone. Strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the third out. Reds leave one as the lead remains 3-1. Ready to go, bottom four. And stepping in for the Yankees, Josh Donaldson. Done, back to work. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. On the ground, Votto. Steps on first for the out. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. And here is Anthony Rizzo. He flied out to the warning track in his first trip. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. That's hard hit on the line. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter. Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. That one's in there. 0 and 1. Stanton, the guy capable of hitting it a long way. 
Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. One out and a runner at second. The next pitch misses, and that is ball one. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. The one-two. And a foul ball. Runner at second here, one gone. On the ground to short. Farmer picks it up. The throw to first, and they take care of Stanton for the out. And now it's D.J. LeMahieu digging in. Singy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. First pitch, just misses. Runner leads away at second. Foul ball there. Next pitch inside, two and one. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off, two and two. Runner at second, two down. And the next pitch is way outside. And on second, two down. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw over to Votto. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for the Yankees, and they still trail it here, three to one. All set for the start of the inning. In now for the Reds, Joey Votto. And here it comes. In there at the knees for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Michael King up and throwing. Loisica getting loose as well. A one down. Oh. And that's outside. The pitch. Fouls one off, two and two. Check swing, now an appeal to third. And he won around, ruled a swing. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter, Mike Moustakis. A strikeout and a walk. Foul ball. Singing four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. And that one fouled off. The 
most offering misses. And the count is two and two. So I went into the game, I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. Next for Cincinnati, Tyler Naquin. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger, and perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. Next offering is downstairs. Next offering misses, two and one. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Pitch misses there, and the count is three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. On the ground right side. Takes it himself. That ends the frame. And one, two, three, go the Reds. And the score stays three to one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the young star. It's Glaber Torres. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Action in the pen down there. Tony Santiago getting loose out there. Hendricks, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Next pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Coming on is Bam to make the play. Now batting, left fielder, Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. even up a wind in the pitch swing and a foul back that's out of play left hand batter waits Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there are two down. Not shortstop. So two down now, and here is Jose Peraza. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. That's towards center. Santel makes the catch, and that'll do it. Yanks held in check, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Michael King. He last pitched two days ago. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Torres handles to first, and a quick out number one. Tyler Stevenson getting ready to hit. Foul ball. Right handed reliever. And it's fouled away.
Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a count one and two. And down on strikes. Out number three. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the six. It's the Reds three and the Yankees one. Bottom of the six. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Kyle Higashioka. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Next pitch is outside. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page. And that's something that this guy does really well. Gets in sync with his pitchers. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. No, I didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Just a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder, so... He just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Runner at first with no outs here. Next offering is in for a strike for a big swing of the bat right here try to close that gap but you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game and a they tried to get him to chase on a slider down it away Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering is way upstairs. Higashioka on at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Donaldson stands in here, takes ball one low. Swings and misses, and that's strike one. Tying run at the plate, and there's a foul ball. A one two, and now two and two. Two and two. And now it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Well. 
and that's ball four. Good miss by Mutz right there. Just couldn't get the call off the inside corner. Now the Reds manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Justin Dunn is done, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. So they turn things over to the righty, Tony Santion. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And that one fouled off. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The pitch. Off the plate, and it's two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Two and one now. And that one wrapped foul. Runners at first and second with one gone. Got him! Two away. I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the game. Giancarlo Stan stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And the 1 0. And a strike in there. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Now fly ball to right center. Naquin makes the move towards the gap. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. Yanks strand a pair. Score holds. It's 3-1. Back in New York. And now the center fielder, Nick Senzel. pitch it's good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases and pick up a run next offering is down low and the count is two and oh Pitches downstairs. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Here's a 3-0. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Here's Tommy Pham for the fourth time tonight. And that's in there for strike one. The right hander deals. That one fouled off. Check on the runner. No. And he's back in safely. Senzel. The board here at first with nobody out. Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Over to first, and he's safe. Solano in the box now. No balls and a strike. 
good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. The pitch. There's a strike. Going two now. Nope. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating nope. based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Now move to first. Fan back in standing. Next one is off the play, and that's ball three. Right hander kicks deals. Got him. And there's two away. Boom, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him walk. That was just nasty. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Joey Votto, one for three. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two outs. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. The pitch. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Here comes the pitch. And that one missing low. And there's ball four. Now the third baseman, Mike Moustakis. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. And yeah, the righty deal. That one off the mark, and the count even one and one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. And now it's one and two. Count filled up three and two. Next pitch has popped up, and that is that. Red strand a couple, but they still lead it three one. Pitcher on now, Ryan Hendricks. And he'll work on holding this lead. DJ LeMayhew to start it off. And he did. The Yankees looking to rally. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance, send it back to the dugout. 0-2 now. Just oh, off the outside part of the plate. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. And a 1-2. Right drive, base hit. Digging it out of the corner. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And a pitch. This one in the air center field. That's back. And that is back. Labor Torres.
Gomez goes young. Home run number 10 of the year. And they add a couple more. It's 3-3. Three, three. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. Up for a second, he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know, those plays are so tough to pull off. I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And now it's Joey Gallo. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And he'll one. There's a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Left hand hitter waits. No, that's down. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Whoa, Next one misses. Down. And that's ball two. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Well, I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. So up next, Jose Peraza. In there for strike one. Kicks and deals. Hard hit to third. In plenty of time to first. That's the second out. Here's the catcher to hit, Kyle Higashioka. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. The 1 1. Wouldn't chase that time. And the pitch. And that's in there at the knees. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. The next offering misses. Full count now. Three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Luis Sessa gets the call from the pen. He's pitching on two days rest. Number eighty five, Luis Sessa. Here's the Yankees' leadoff hitter, Aaron Judge. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. In there, and it's 0-1. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next pitch misses outside, and it's two and one. 
two gone. The possible go ahead run at first. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you've got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. The 2 2. And a swing and a miss. That's the inning. Plus two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run homer. We're tied now with three apiece. Jonathan Loisica will take over here. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. In now for the Reds, Tyler Naquin. The pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And here it comes. Swings and fouls one off. And the 2 Just misses without one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch is outside. Right into the play. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Pitch running here. Jake McCarthy. Next for Cincinnati. Jonathan India. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base deal. First offering, misses the mark. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. And a pitch. In the air to left center. And there's one down. <laughs> Tyler Stevenson now at the plate. Over the first, McCarthy back on a dive. Back over to first, and he's back in that time as well. Back to first, and again, he's back safely. Pickoff throw once again, and he's safe again. Uncle. That one's in there, 0 and 1. At the belt and final. Boog. He never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Pickoff throw. McCarthy dives back in safely. Next offering is in for a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Yeah. 
One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. And now the count is even. You know, we used to say if you're scared get a dog. Throw the fastball man. If you're scared. Get a dog man. Just, just get a dog. On the ground to third. And it's through for a hit. And the go ahead run into scoring position. One away. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. First and second, one out. Kyle Farmer will hit next. In there for strike one. Right-handed reliever. Strike two. Well, Brogue, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Two on, one out. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. One, two now. And a swing of the miss. Two gone now. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Next to hit, Nick Senzel. First pitch, not close. McCarthy, the lead runner at second. Stevenson at first, two out of the inning. Next offering misses. Now 2 0. Bounced up the middle. Into the outfield base hit. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 4 3. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Digging in. Tommy Fan. And the first offering is not close. The next pitch misses. Two and oh. Right hander kicks deals. Next pitch in for a strike and a count two and one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two outs. That's inside. And that's ball three. And now a full count. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. It's a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for them to stay down around the knees to be effective. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ball game, trying to keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. So two down. Next is the designated hitter, Donovan Solano. And that's in there for strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Righty delivers. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. Nothing happening as the count evens at one. And the right hander deals. Base is loaded. Two down.
here's a one-two. Into center. Judge cutting across. Racing makes the catch. And that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Jake McCarthy is now in the game as he comes in as a new right fielder. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's Josh Donaldson. The pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The tying run at the plate. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. T.J. Antone, the closer of the staff, is throwing. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two now. And fouled off. The one, two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. It's a one, two. Next offering misses down and away. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. And that one pulled foul. Next one's off the plate. And that's ball three. The pitch. Got him! And one gone. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Rizzo in the box with one away as he takes ball one. pitch in for a strike and it's a ball to strike left hand batter waits up the middle India over to first in time and that quickly two away well, at this point in the ball game, you're counting outs. And that's a great diving stop to keep the tying run off base. It's the little things that add up to a big W at the end. Here's Stanton now. First pitch just misses. Looking to get the tying run on base. And now two and nothing as that one missed below the knees. The pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. And the righty deal. And the tying run is on base. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Justin Wilson. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So a change being made at first base. And here's the Yankees pinch runner, Oswaldo Cabrera. Here's DJ LeMayhew. What a good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. 
in there, and it's 0-1. Big situation right here. You've got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? Next offering is in for a strike. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. And that's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride to load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. So the tying run at second. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The pitch. Slapped foul. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Next pitch is popped up. Moose settles underneath it. And that is that. That was an opportunity to do damage. He popped it up instead. Frustrating at bat. He'll be thinking about that one for a while. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Zach Britton hasn't pitched in the last three days. Ender and Ciarte. Now in the game as he comes in as a new right fielder. Back at Yankee Stadium. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here's the first baseman, Joey Votto. Here comes the pitch. Strike one. Good eye in that spot. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. And you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. One up, one down. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, it's hard to maintain that lead, getting that W. Moustakis, the next to hit, takes ball one. One run game here at the top of the ninth. In the air, right side. And CRT gets under it. He's got it. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Jake McCarthy. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. And first offering is fouled off. down 0-2 as he swings through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're chasing stuff in the dirt. The 0-2. And ball one. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that is that. Bottom part of the order. 7 8 9, two up in inning number nine. It's the Reds four and the Yankees three. Pitching change here. TJ Antone trying to protect this lead. And the batter now, Joey Gallo. 
He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we see more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. And a count one and two. Into the pitch. And a swing and a miss. One away. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach, but you can hand the ball off to multiple arms. It gets stability from all of their performances. And next for New York, Jose Peraza. He's already homered here in this one. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. Uh, boy, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. A line to kick the pitch. Next offering is outside. The two one. Foul off left side. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next offering is foul back. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. This one in the air right field. McCarthy drifts towards it. Makes the grab for the second out. Kyle, Kyle Higashioka, the next to hit. One for two. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Home team down a run. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Swing and a miss. And now it's even one and one. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. And the final score here, 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Yankees, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left six men on base.